everybody good to see you again welcome back to my channel if you are new here I am Martha vintage conversation I like to do little hauls and shopping and you know all that fun stuff that we do you know stuff you like so stick around I have um, a, a small little production for you today not too many things before I get to that let me um, oh let me give my shout out to Sue at Sumi because I am wearing my if you, it's not hoarding if you keep it in a pretty box this is my Sumi shirt she did this for her it was a schoolhouse fundraiser this last year to help um, replace the roof on the schoolhouse you probably know that um, a tree fell on it so she's got all oh my god Sue can teach you so much especially um, she does a lot of, of lamps and how to make lamps and she can oh she just tells you everything from how to to start a uh, YouTube not YouTube a Etsy or eBay channel to repairing items cleaning items why this and not that and just she's she's really good and and that's her saying that I have on my shirt so go check Sue out she is a sweetheart she does a lot of a lot of giveaways she gives back a lot to the community and is very open you probably know Sue from Jocelyn the crazy lamp lady because she is a friend of Jocelyn's and her channel is a spin-off from her shopping with Jocelyn um, in earlier days so you need to check both of that out yes I'm fidgety I'm fidgety um, don't have very much here I went to a, a local thrift store just after Christmas and found a couple of non Christmas things I hope you're not too burned out on Christmas because I'm never burned out on Christmas and I will buy Christmas whenever I find it if it is pleasing to me so that I have done let me show you what I got that was not Christmas first if I can get it out I bought one of these anchor hawking ashtrays you know I always forget to look up the pattern and I don't know why I want to call I always say I want to call it rain and it's it's I don't believe it is but you'll probably recall from a, a earlier video that we did I have one of these in green but it's smaller so I think it will nestle down inside of this one and then I'll have the, the gold and the green and I think that is going to look lovely now I don't smoke anymore I quit smoking gosh 15 years ago hey good for me that was not easy but anyway I love ashtrays <laughs> ashtrays were a big part of life as I grew up and there were so many beautiful ones and they still are and I think there's so many things you can use them for just because they started out their life as one thing doesn't mean they can't go on doing something else we all know the many different things that an ashtray can be used for so I won't quote them for you but isn't it lovely <laughs> and then look out I found this piece of glass now this is nothing special as far as collecting goes I um, believe that it was probably yeah, I may be wrong but it was probably a florist piece when it first started out and as we know a lot of florist pieces can be really good you know Hager made florist pieces and um, a lot of a lot of nice companies made florist pieces. but you know I love green glass and this was a little different to me and I thought I would be able to use it um, come holiday time next year for some decorating so I picked this little guy up and you know they were so cheap that didn't matter now those well actually I picked up another vase it was one of the short swung bases you know with the with the fingers now I 
I thought I checked it really good, but when I took it out of the sack a while ago, two of the fingers were missing. And I mean, they were wildly missing, so I don't know what happened. It's over there in the sack. It's 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 no good. It's it's a goner. It's hopeless, so I probably broke it. But then the, the only other thing that I bought was a grab bag that had Christmas in it. And, and that's why I said, I hope you're not burned down Christmas because you're going to see a little bit. Now, it didn't, the reason I bought it was for a couple of items. And let me show you the little things that were just little bonus items. A couple of nice rolls of ribbon, unopened, unused. That's a bonus. Some Christmas note cards. Bonus. A pretty pick. Definitely a bonus. I can use that. And there was a patriotic <laughs> in this bag. A patriotic Christmas ball. And think about it. I probably should have already opened this up for you guys. I'm sorry. Well, I'm opening this up. Um, I'll impart a little news as I spoke to you before I am about to leave on vacation Friday the 8th is my husband's birthday and we're going on vacation we're just gonna do some running around um, do a little thrifting a little junking a little sightseeing maybe we'll meet up with another reseller I I'm hoping to and if I do then you will hear about that and see about that. <laughs> well, I hope that's not too loud. Now this is a pretty little see, that would be great in a patriotic display. Either hanging or sitting in something. So that's that's not bad. And in this were these. Now they weren't just these. There are 18 of these. Now most of them do not have the bulb in them. And my predicament on these is I don't know how they work this is what I've got down here which looks like you know maybe stick my finger in it maybe a battery went in it let me see Get the bulb out. it looks like it, there's supposed to be batteries all the way through it but I have no idea I mean, and maybe the light bulb just touches the ends of the batteries. I don't know. I'll play with it next Christmas, if maybe. But I thought, actually what I thought I would like to do with them is to take some um, Christmas tree bulbs. You know, the, the ones that are, are about this size. <clears throat> and put them in, put in them. And I thought, put them in it. I thought it would make, you know, work well with displays. And like I said, I got 18 of them, so. And this was in there and I didn't see it until I took it out. It says, let's put the jingle in Jingle Bells. See, isn't it cute? A little box, a little tinsel handle. And on the bottom it says, Sandra, um, Magsamen, a uh, Sylvester, I don't know. Magnusum? Mag I, mm -mm. I don't know. But it, it didn't look like this when I pulled it out. Because <laughs> See, it's got hinges. It opens up. So when you open it up, <laughs> there we go. A little Christmas tree is supposed to pop out of it. And it jingles. So I don't know. I don't know if it'll it, it certainly won't hurt to just see it in a display you know it's not something I'm gonna sell but the little tinsel tree bottle brush tree and the little little bo gift box I think is cute what attracted me to this this bag was this vintage mistletoe isn't that sweet? I just love it. I'm a, I'm a kid again seeing this. Honestly, I am. 
slide that back down there. You go back. There. It's that um, sort of almost a hard plastic, but not. I mean, you can you can bend it, but not quite. It's it's that kind. And I'm not sure it came with this bow, or if that was added, or or what, or how I will use it. But brought out the kid in me, so. They made a sale because of, of this one item. <laughs> oh, but I was very pleased because also in here with this one item that I bought it for was this girl. Check her out. Little Miss Ceramic Candle Holder. Little Angel. Oh, isn't she lovely? Oh, she's just, she's precious. The little rickrack design on her little choir robes or angel robes and her beautiful golden wings it, she's dirty from the, the the candles that have been in her but i'm thinking you know tea light candle uh the little thicker column thicker i don't know the, the long ones that are that are thicker bottle brush tree <laughs> all kinds of little things but look she's so peaceful and she's in such good shape she is not marked I don't know if she is Japan or American or China I don't think she'd be China she's too old for that honestly at the very least she would have to be like Taiwan or something but I haven't looked her up I suspect she's Japan she's not broken anywhere except she does have a a little rough spot right here on her wing no it didn't come off <laughs> so but oh I love these things and that's it it's just that quick it's just that easy so I hope you enjoy short little videos uh, small little discussions and and looking at items just a little bit and that sort of thing i hope you will like my video and subscribe to my video hey look i looked at some analytics and 48 percent of the people who come and watch my my channel are not subscribed now if you don't want to subscribe i understand i appreciate your coming and watching giving me a thumbs up i appreciate that but i wish I really do wish you would subscribe hit that notice bell then you'll know when there's another one I mean if you're gonna come and watch anyway you might as well be subscribed it's not that big a deal and it does not cost anything it is free to no no purchase just what are you waiting for look the other 52% of the people are subscribed anyway as I said I'm going to be going on vacation I'm trying to put together some videos that I know that I can um, set up you know to be released at a certain time and I'm gonna try to make some on the road that's why I did the the studio video because I was practicing on my phone I've never done it on my phone so and then I'm going to try to try to throw in some lies and, and I'll be on Instagram too with some pictures, maybe some lives because I don't know what we're going to see. Um, we're going to head west and check things out as long as things remain quiet and calm in the western front, so to speak. Mm. But I want you all to see it. So come hit me up on Instagram. Check me out. I'm Vintage Conversation on Instagram. I'd love to have you join my Instagram family um, let's see be a part of my YouTube community my our family here we're good friends and that's it so I will talk to you later and I appreciate you stopping by bye guys